Well, the spotlight is intensifying on America's vulnerable power grid. Gunfire damaged two North Carolina substations last week, leaving thousands in the dark. And it's not the first attack on parts of our nation's electrical infrastructure. News Nation's Evan Lambert joins us live. Evan, there's a threat regulators tried addressing years ago. Nicole, an attack in California in 2013 prompted new concerns and new regulations, but we have since discovered they have not been updated substantially since then. By the industry, and they're not prescriptive. They're simply very vague requirements. The former head of the agency in charge of regulating energy production facilities, known as FERC, tells News Nation the physical security requirements for power substations are sorely lacking, and other security officials agree. But the power companies need to be more active on the physical security side. The regulations haven't undergone a major update since 2015. That was a response to the 2013 sniper attack in California that first blew this vulnerability wide open. The identity of the gunman who opened fire on the Pacific Electric and Gas Metcalf substation back then remain a mystery. The attack didn't cause an outage but exposed a major security hole. Years later, it continues to be exploited. The latest and most concerning example, the gun attack in North Carolina, which plunged more than 40,000 into the dark early this month. Former FERC chairman John Wellinghoff says it was likely a copycat of the California attack. That is all easily discoverable from what happened at Metcalf. And apparently these people, you know, looked that up and determined exactly what they needed to do and went and did it. News Nation's reporting has exposed even further gaps in security of some 70,000 plus electric substations across the country. Their exact locations shared online in August in extremist forums. Many are left vulnerable, visibly protected by just a chain link fence and a lock without security cameras in some cases. In 2018, the Congressional Research Service reached a similar conclusion, saying in part, investment and cost recovery for physical security is not uniform across the electricity sector and remains a work in progress. The same report said, quote, although the U.S. electric grid is more physically secure than it was five years ago, it has not necessarily reached the level of physical security needed. In 2015, FERC began requiring power companies to create and implement a plan for physical security and regularly audit it with third parties. But the current regulations lack specifics and read more like suggestions. In response to questions from News Nation about whether the regulations need to evolve in response to recent threats and attacks, FERC said in part, quote, the security and reliability of the nation's electric grid remain our top priorities. MPGE tells us the company has spent $300 million on security upgrades since 2013 and the attack on their substation. It, they include updates like additional lighting, cameras, and barrier walls around critical equipment. Nicole? Okay, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.